Today, we're diving into the latest injury report. Micah Parsons is still out, and Eric Kendricks didn't practice again, raising concerns. We'll break down the implications for the team's lineup and discuss Ezekiel Elliott's role as he voices frustration over his lack of opportunities. Plus, we'll touch on the recent Devontae Adams trade talks and whether the Cowboys were ever seriously in the running. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Let's break down the latest Cowboys injury report. First up, Micah Parsons still isn't practicing and it's looking unlikely he'll play. Eric Kendricks missed practice Thursday due to calf and shoulder problems, which is definitely a concern since missing practice this late in the week raises red flags. His backup, Nick Vigil, also didn't practice, so that puts us in a tough spot without two key linebackers. On a brighter note, Maurice Lelfel fully participated despite his quad issue, and he played last week without any problems. Duron Bland has been fully participating for two days, which is a good sign as he comes off his 21-day practice window. His replacement, Kayan Carson, has also been practicing fully for the past couple of weeks with a shoulder issue and should be back. Trayvon Diggs missed practice due to an illness after practicing fully on Wednesday, but I'm not too worried about his availability since other players have bounced back from similar issues. Tyler Gano was a full participant with his knee issue, which could be more important than we initially thought. However, Zach Martin, who rested Wednesday, didn't practice today due to a back issue, so that's something to keep an eye on. It looks like if veterans like Eric Kendricks don't get any action on Friday, they usually don't play on Sunday. So we'll need to keep an eye on Zach Martin and Eric Kendricks. If they miss a game, they should be back after the bye, which is when we hope to see Micah Parsons return as well. By the way, do you think Micah will be back for the game against the 49ers? Vote yes or no in the pinned comment below. Now, let's talk about running backs. After Clarence Hill reported on it, Ezekiel Elliott has talked to the coaches about his role and is pretty confused about why he's not getting more opportunities, especially in the red zone. It's not uncommon for players to voice concerns about their playing time, and while Rico Dowdle is clearly the top running back right now, Zeke does have a point. Sure, Rico is performing better as an early down back and in the passing game, but Zeke's still not being used as much as he should be. Looking at the snap counts from week 5, Rico was in for 50%, while Zeke saw a jump to 40% against the Steelers. I think the Cowboys aren't using Zeke effectively. The ways they should be maximizing his skills aren't happening right now. Now, moving on to some player stats, one guy has a solid success rate with short carries, showing he can get those crucial yards when needed. He hasn't had many touches in the mid-range, but a good chunk of his carries come from longer situations. This means he's really effective in short yardage, even as another player has been more efficient overall. So, while both have their strengths, one tends to make more impactful plays when it counts. Let's break this down. It seems like Zeke isn't being used effectively. If he's not handling short yardage situations or pass protection, where Rico and Hunter are getting more snaps, then what's the point of having him active on game days? Right now, he feels like just a backup running back only stepping in when Rico needs a rest, and that doesn't make sense. If he's not being utilized properly, it might be time to consider a better option for that role. If you're not going to use Zeke in key situations, why not give someone like Dalvin Cook a shot? It seems like the coaching staff isn't effectively using their running backs overall. So, will Dalvin Cook get a chance with the Cowboys? Let me know your thoughts. Also, just a quick note, if Zeke is dealing with an injury, he's not showing up on the report, so that seems unlikely. So, it looks like the Cowboys are officially out of the running for a Devontae Adams trade. But were they ever really in it to begin with? It seems like this might have just been a way to generate buzz or leverage. According to reports, the Chiefs, Cowboys, Ravens, and Commanders are all no longer involved, leaving the Jets, Saints, Steelers, and Bills as the remaining contenders. Interestingly, the Cowboys did reach out about Adams, but they passed because they didn't want to take on his remaining salary, which is around $12.5 million. It makes me think their offer was probably something like a fifth-round pick, hoping the other team would cover part of his contract. If you were in the Cowboys' shoes, would you have gone after Adams or let it go? Personally, I find it hard to believe the Cowboys were ever seriously pursuing this. It feels like we see this happen all the time. A big-name player is available, the Cowboys get linked, and then suddenly they're out, leaving everyone scratching their heads. Adam's contract isn't terrible, and if the Cowboys had waited, it could have become more manageable. They could have made a move, but it seems they simply chose not to. 